Nityananda Prabhu was born in a holy dam called Eka Chakra. In the strength of this dam, even if one little, if one even blabbered here, they will get, they will get the benefit of speak of chanting Samaveda. Nityananda Prabhu was born was born to two very great Vaishnavas. Hadai Pandit and Padmavati Devi. And the citizens of Eka Chakra, they were, every day when they were seeing Nityananda Prabhu crawl on the ground, 
they would think it was a ball of cotton flowing through the breeze. Nityananda Prabhu's body was so beautiful, the jewels on his body decorate, didn't decorate his body, but his body decorated the jewels. Nityananda Prabhu and his friends used to enact pastimes of Krishna. Sometimes Nityananda Prabhu would jump on his friend's chest and pretend he was sucking his life her out. And another time he would pretend that he had his bow and arrow as Lakshman. And then one day a very unfortunate thing happened. A sannyasi from South India came to the house of Hadai Pandit and Padmavati Devi. And when this sannyasi was leaving, Hadai Pandit asked the sannyasi, What would you like? The sannyasi said, The things that you have, I don't want. And the things that I have, I want, you don't have. The only thing that I want that you have is your son, Nitai. And when Hadai Pandit heard this, it was just a thunderbolt in his heart. And then he went to go, and Hadai Pandit was thinking, it's worse than death to give his son Nitai away. But it's worse than the worst than the worst of death to, to not do what a Vaishnava says. So Padmati Devi and Hadai Pandit with a very heavy heart gave Nithai to the sannyasi. And when Nithai was leaving Ekachak and all the citizens of Ekachak was like, no, don't take Nithai, don't take Nithai, don't take Nithai. Take my son, take my son. Because the citizens of Ekachakra loved Nithai more than their own children. But Nithai left Ekachakra. And Rai Pandit and Padmati, they were crying and crying and crying. One day, Padmati Devi asked Rai Pandit and said, Why are you not dying? Why are you not dying? You're not dying because you don't have any love for Nithai. Look at Dashrath, he died. He died in separation of Ram. And Hadai Pandit replied, It's easy to die once than every moment. I'm, Dashrath died once and there ended his separation with Ram. But I'm dying every moment in separation of my Nithai. And I fear if he comes back and sees his father dead, what pain will he have? And I don't want and I don't want my son Nithai to have pain. Nithananda Prabhu traveled a lot. He went from the farthest corner of the the farthest east of India to the farthest west of India, the farthest north of India to the farthest south of India. And then one day, Hadai Pandit and Padmavati Devi left this world chanting the, na- the holy names of, Ni- of Nityananda Prabhu. And one day Nityananda Prabhu was in Vrindavan, and when he heard that, Nita- that his Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started the Sankirtan movement, he roared as loud as he could. He ran to Navadri Dham and he saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the embodiment of compassion in the golden form and the embodiment of passion in the newly formed spring cloud form, face to face. They embraced each other and this was the start of the explosion of Prema Bhakti. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu instructed Haridas and Nitai and Nitya to and said, Whoever you meet, whatever in every house, beg them to chant the holy name. Krishna is your father, Krishna is your mother, Krishna is your everything. 
So they did. In the town of the Prabhu, he went, he would go to different houses. Some pious people, when they saw the town of the Prabhu Haridas, their hearts melted. Looking at the beauty of Nityananda Prabhu and the kindness of Haridas. So they said, Yes, I will chant the holy name. And then, as soon as they said, Hare Krishna, Nityananda Prabhu embraced them and fell at their feet and said, You are my life and soul. And some other people, when they, when they, when they heard this, they said, Go away, I will set the dogs on you. And people s started setting rumors around Nityananda and Haridas. One rumor was that the thieves, they beg for this nonsense, for you to do this nonsense. And while they're begging you, they're looking, they're looking around in your house for what, for what you have to steal. And then in the night when you're sleeping, they have they have a whole gang of thieves, and they start and they start stealing. And one such day when they were preaching, there was a big crowd, and that and Nityananda and Haridas asked them, "What's?" Who are those two boy? Who are those two men inside? And they said, they are Jaga and Madai, short for Jagadananda and Madhvananda. They both are the most sinful sinners. There's not a single sin that they haven't did. They 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 murder. If you come in the way, they murder you. They murder innocent babies and women. They set houses on fire when, when people are asleep. They're the most sinful. And then, and then Nityananda Prabhu looked at Haridas and said, Haridas, these, pe these people are, are the recipients of Godanga's mercy. And, and he said, if, if they start, if they check the holy name, everyone will chant the holy name. So Nityananda Prabhu and Haridas walked up to these two junkards. And Nityananda Prabhu said, O Jagadananda and Madhvananda, please chant the holy name. We know how great you are, but please, we're just giving you some little advice. And when they heard this, they looked at Nityananda Prabhu with eyes, with eyes rolling in intoxication and said, How dare you speak to us like this? Do you know who we are? We are Jagai and Madai. And then, they said, and then they said, Chase them, chase them, chase them! And then they started running behind Nityananda and Haridas. Nityananda and Haridas they were running, laughing and joking. And, and Haridas said, and Nityananda Prabhu said, our lives might end today, Haridas. These people are very dangerous. And Haridas, and Haridas said, why did I have to listen to you? You're so crazy. And when Nityananda Prabhu heard this, he said, I'm not crazy, I'll go down this crazy. Who else would ask us to go to every person that we meet and ask them to chant the holy name? And in this way, Jagan and Madhav were running after them. They were running and laughing and joking. And they were almost at Shiva's house. But since Jagan and Madhav were so fat and intoxicated, they gave up the chase. And they were so mad, they had to punch someone. So they turned to each other, they started punching each other, kicking each other, scratching each other. And then, when, and then they gave the reports to Chaitan Mahaprabhu. When Chaitan Mahaprabhu heard this, they said, They're Brahmanas? I wish I could cut, I wish I could sever their heads with my Sudarshan Chakra. And Nithai said, No, Goranga, no, Goranga. Please give me one more chance. You're the most compassionate avatar of the Lord. Killing demons was the 
was the purpose for Krishna, Rama, and Narsinga. In this age, if you want to kill Jekka and Mada, you have to kill everyone. Because everyone in this age is more or less of a Jaga and Madai. And then the day after that, they, they went preaching to Jaga and Madai again. And then when Madai, and then Nityananda Prabhu said, Oh brothers, please chant the holy name. Please chant the holy name. If you chant the holy name, all your sins will be destroyed for, for sure. And Madai lost his school when he heard this the second time. He picked up a clay pot and smashed it in the forehead of Nityananda Prabhu. And Nityananda Prabhu fell back and, and he was bleeding profusely. And Nityananda Prabhu said, The pain you are inflicting on yourself by not chanting the holy name is insignificant compared to the pain you have, you have given me. And then somehow when, and then Madai picked up another clay pot and was about to throw it at Nityananda Prabhu, but Jagai stopped him and said, you fool, can't you see him? You hit him with the clay pot and he doesn't even, and he doesn't even care. He's, he's trying, he's trying to get the well-being out of us. And then the news came to, um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he ran as fast as he could in the moment he reached there. He looked at Nityananda Prabhu's forehead bleeding and he looked at the clay pot in Madai's hand. He, his eyes look, look so red. It looked like he was going, his glance would burn the entire universe to ashes. He said, you fools, how dare you hurt my Nithai? And he, and he called out chakra, chakra, chakra. And the Sudarshan chakra appeared on his finger. And when Nityananda Prabhu saw this, he said, Oh Gauranga, oh Gauranga, please don't kill them, please don't kill them. You are, Gaura, you are Gauranga, not, not Vishnu. I know you can get your Sudarshan chakra anytime, but, this is, but that's not... That's not the purpose of this a of this avatar. Please don't do them. And in fact, Jagai Jagai tried to save me. Mada tried to hit me again. Tried, Jagai tried to save me. And in the in the madness, um, Goranga was he became blissful, and the Sudarshan Chakra disappeared. And he said to Jagai, "You saved my time." From this day onwards, I bless you with eternal prema bhakti in your heart. And Gauranga embraced Jagai. And when Gauranga let go, Jagai jumped and jumped in ecstasy, chanting the holy name. And when, Ma and when Madai saw this, he's like, he said to Gauranga, Me and ja whatever he did, I did. And whatever I said, he said. We, me and Jagai have been sitting together all the time. And now when you deliver him, you leave me. Please, and you're about to kill me. Please deliver me too. And Godanga says, impossible. The only, you, you cannot get delivered by me, but Nityananda Prabhu. If you want to get delivered, go fall at the feet of Nityananda Prabhu. And then Nityananda Prabhu, when Jagai fell at the, when Madai fell at the feet of Nityananda Prabhu, he picked Madai up and said, all Gauranga said, meant was, he does, he, he does not want you to sin anymore. Promise me from this day you won't sin anymore. And then from that day onwards, Jagai and Madai dance in the kirtans of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda Prabhu. Nityananda Prabhu ki jai. Gauranga Mahaprabhu ki. 
गौर प्रेम नंदी महाराज की